Alongside Brian Hayes and Marty Bureau, guys, the timeline on this from the least perspective is mind-boggling to me. They wave Ilya Samson off 10 days ago. He spends eight days on his own to reset. Makes sense. Skates one day with the Marleys, and now they've called him back. I am really confused by this one. What do you think of the way they're handling this? I think they've learned from the Toronto Blue Jays here in two different ways. One, Alec Manoa was an absolute disaster last year for the Blue Jays. They sent him down, but they had him play games. Here, the Maple Leafs decided we're not even going to do that with Ilya Samsonov because if he gets lit up in the American Hockey League, you can't call him back up. Yeah. So I don't understand the reasoning behind him coming up and actually playing. But if playing. he gets lit up in the American Hockey League... You you shouldn't call him back. Well, Never mind, exactly. you can't. You but shouldn't. They, they don't want Hill to be playing. I mean, that's very clear at, clear at this point, Gino. This decision is as much about Hill to be going down and continuing to evolve as a goaltender and getting play in as it is Samsonov coming up. Jones is still the guy. He's going to start on the island. He's going to start at least one of the two games this weekend against Colorado and Detroit. He cannot start both. He cannot keep playing every single game. It's the National Hockey League in 2024. You cannot have one goaltender. So this is not the 50s. But I, I don't believe Samsonov's ready to play, but they don't want Hill to be up here. They didn't want to expose Samsonov to getting lit up in the American Hockey League. They're closing their eyes here. They're hoping it's going to work. So it sounds like you're saying Hill to be's long-term development is more important than them winning a game on this weekend, which makes no sense to me. Marty Samsonov barely practiced, didn't play a single game. As a guy who played in the league, is there any reason to believe we're going to see a different Samsonov now that he's back after a week and a half away. Well, this is clear or not about Ilya Samsonov, right? The Leafs even said it's about Hill to be and he needs to go back down and we'll assess after Friday. Why? Because the Leafs have back to back over the weekend. And maybe if Hill to be plays well on Friday night, they say, hey, let's call him up and have him play Sunday on the second game of the back to back instead of putting Samsonov in that situation. Now, I'm not like you, Brian. I think that Martin Jones could definitely play back-to-back -back over the weekend. He did it in California. He actually won all three games in California, did it on back-to-back. -back. This is at home Saturday, Sunday. You can do it. It buys you time, right? But obviously, Thursday night and Saturday would tell you if you want to go with Martin Jones on Sunday. But here's the thing. I get that the plan was for Samsonov to go and practice and reset physically and mentally. But you're at a point now where maybe he would have benefited from playing one game and if you make it clear with everybody Samsonov is playing one game in the AHL so he can he can get game action and then he comes back to Toronto it doesn't matter if he gives up 10 or nothing in the game the plan was already in, in place it's a one game thing it's not like Jack Campbell going to the minors and we'll see we'll reevaluate now I think it would have been much more clearer if they said he plays one game and he comes back right now you can't play him because he hasn't played in forever, so I don't think it's about Samsonov at all for the weekend. Well, in terms of what you said about Jones, I, I would agree with you that he could keep going every single night if it was understood. Three that and Joseph four? Wall, he just did it, Gino. He just oh. did it in California yeah. with travel. This guy's in his 30s. He's playing outstanding. But something's changed here in terms of where he stands in terms of the pecking order with this team. If Samsonov was nursing an injury and you knew he was coming back and you had full faith in him, fine, Jones, you're just holding down the ship. When Joseph Wall returns, you're out. That's not the case anymore with this team. Martin Jones is the number one goaltender. Yes. You have to protect him because I don't think Samsonov's a guy for the future here. I don't know when Wall's coming back or what he's going to play like. Martin Jones, as of now, he's probably your game one starter. You cannot run him into the ground in January. That's way more important than Hill to be getting starts, Samsonov and where he's at. Making sure you protect Martin Jones, in my opinion, is at the top of the list right now. Marty, uh, Brian well, just well, mentioned Well, then the Leafs have a big problem. If that's the case, I'm just going to say the Leafs have a big problem because who knows how Joseph Wall will come back when he yeah. comes back from the injury. And Samsonov is not to be trusted right now. So maybe they got to start looking. Hey, we may need additional insurance at some point, which they don't have right now. That may be the bigger problem in this big picture. Uh, Marty, even if Samsonov comes back and plays half-decent hockey, what do you do with the Leafs when Joseph Wall comes back from his high ankle sprain? What's their depth chart at that point? Who's out, Marty? Okay, well, at this moment, I cannot put Martin Jones out, right? Obviously, I would have to see where Samsonov is at and when Joseph Wall returns, if he is 100%, and now he gets back. You know, it's not like riding a bike here. Like, if you miss significant time and it's something that was that is nagging or could be nagging for a little bit, um, you're not going to get the same performances. So you have to kind of play it out, and maybe they're going to have to keep three goalies for a little bit before making that decision, which is really not the best case scenario but this is what the Leafs are in right now if Joseph Wall was your best goaltender 
And now it's Martin Jones that is your best goaltender. And Samsonov cannot be really trusted into figuring it out right this second. So I get, look, maybe it all sorts itself out. And maybe it's Wall and Samsonov. And Jones has to wait it out. But the way Jones is playing right now, I put him like Brian, number one. And I say, okay, you, you, the other two have to show me that they're ready to take it over. Uh, we don't know that yet. Interesting weekend coming up, as we mentioned. Three, ga three games in four nights starting Thursday, back-to-back -back on the weekend. Curious to see if the Leaves use Samson off at all. What happens with Dennis Hildeby? The poor guy, second best numbers in the AHL before the call-up. Now he goes back after sitting on the bench for 10 days.